Hey guys, my name is Hayden and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to never lose work again using Git and GitHub. So in this video, I'll show you how to upload your React app or any code project to GitHub. We created a React project in my previous video. There'll be a link in the description if you've not seen that. And that is the project I'm gonna use in this video in order to show you how Git and GitHub works. We'll install Git, create an account if you've not got one already, create a remote repository on GitHub and push changes and pull changes from Git. The timestamps will be in the description, so feel free to jump around the video. So first off, what is GitHub and why is it important? If you don't care about that, then there'll be a timestamp in the description that you can jump to, or I'll maybe put them here so you can just get straight into installing Git. So just a quick overview, Git and GitHub are two separate things. Git is a version control system, whereas GitHub is a, well, a website and also a remote repository that you can store code on. So some advantages of why you would use Git would be, for example, keeping different versions of files you could be working on. Let's say you're working on a file and you want to make a small change or you have an idea so you know you don't want to essentially overwrite whatever is currently there you can what they do is branch off make changes on that one and you're not affecting this kind of base branch so you can experiment and make changes without affecting the overall project you can also use github to track issues on your project so in github there's a little uh, section for issues that you can type in and you know if you're doing like an open source project people can contribute those issues and work on them and they're a good way to kind of track work and task. teams can use it to centralize their code base into one location so for example if you and a friend are working on a code project together obviously if it's on my computer there's no way that you can get it unless I give you for example a USB drive or send it somehow to you whereas if we both upload it to github and you can pull the changes I can pull the changes we can both push changes to github and it's a nice easy way to collaborate on projects together and it's very common in industry and it's pretty much the default standard of what you would do it's a really good way for you to display your portfolios so a lot of people on job applications will say show me your github let's see some projects you've worked on it's a really good way to kind of just put code out there for people to see so you, you don't have to worry about them being like perfect so i have a lot of projects on my github that are kind of you know one day little tasks or little python automation things so they don't have to be kind of like fully fledged apps and ideas and projects but it's just a good way to keep all your code in one location for people to see and also for you to see so if you swap computers you know you've still got all that code you don't have to take the hard drive and move it over so that's a quick overview of why and what is git and github now let's jump into installing it and setting it up for this react project so first things first you need to navigate to github.com if you don't have an account you can sign up for one here uh, otherwise you can sign into your account and you are already good to go so that's what you need to do first so for example this is my github account my personal github account as you can see uh, I've got all my repositories here and it also gives me kind of information of when I made commits last and pushed to code so once you have set up your account, then all you need to go is navigate to git-scm.com. This will be where you will install git, which is a command line tool for you to um, create version control repositories and then upload them to GitHub. So what you most likely want to do is come over here where it says latest release. I'm using a Windows machine, but there's obviously Mac down here or other versions uh, or source code and other bits if you want to use them. So you just simply click this button. It should start a download for you. Um, wait for that to download and open that up once it's completed. Cool, so once that has finished downloading, you should get a uh, install wizard pop up. Uh, so now let's go through and configure the install. You want to click uh, default here. You don't want experimental features. Uh, well, unless you do, but for the bog standard person, I can't imagine you would. So you can just click install and then this will just go through and install everything that needs to be done. Because I've already got Git installed on my PC, so my installation might be more of an update rather than installation. But what I will do is link you to a video in the description that you can watch that is a full um, kind of beginner's tutorial for that. Um, at the end, it will pop up this, which is just kind of the release notes for Git. Um, just tells you what's changed in these, these versions. So once that's completed installing, it will install a program called Git Bash onto your PC. Uh, what you can do is open that up. And this is what people use in order to interact with GitHub and create version controlled Git repositories. Just to make sure everything's installed, you can type the word Git into here and it should give you a list of kind of commands that you can run. One more thing here is that we can set up Git Bash to 
Um, basically, so Git Bash doesn't have any information of who you are. It's just a command line tool to interact with GitHub and make uh, local repositories. So what you can do is set the config to be your user name and information that you created when you created your GitHub account. And in order to do that, you just need to type git config uh, dash dash global um, user dot name. And then in here, you'll need to put um, your username. So for example, my username is Murray. So I would do this and similarly, you'll need to change your email. So just change this to user email and then um, obviously type in uh, whatever your email is into there as well. Uh, press enter and that will just tell git bash who you are. So when you do uh, git pushes, you have to basically type in less information. And just to ensure that you've done that correctly, you can then type git uh, config global dash dash list. And this will print out all the the global config for your um, for your git bash. And as you can see, your username and email will be here. So that is all good. Okay, so the next step is we need to create a local repository on our machine using Git, which allows Git to track version changes in our files. Once we're happy with all those changes in our files, then we'll push them to what's known as a remote repository on GitHub. This, this idea of local and remote is a really important part of Git that you kind of need to get your head around. So local is anything that's on your local machine, any changes that's you know locally to you, and remote is anything that's not local to you. So it's elsewhere. So it's, for example, stuff that's hosted on GitHub. You, what we're going to have to do now is create a local repository using our React app that we made earlier. Then we're going to have to make a remote repository on GitHub that's just going to be an empty blank repository that we can push code to. Then we're going to have to connect the local repository to the remote repository and push changes to the remote repository. So then it will have obviously all our changes on it. And then we can go to any PC in the entire world and just pull changes from that. Hopefully that makes sense. If not, comment below and I'll try and answer your questions for you. So what we're going to need to do is now navigate to our React app. So I stored mine in desktop and I called it my first React app. So now I'm in the um, React app. And if I start typing git status now, um, ah, because I had git installed when I made the tutorial, you know, when we did the npx create my first React app, that automatically sets this up as a git repo. So if you didn't have git installed when we ran the tutorial, what you'll need to do is fine. You'll just need to write git in it. So make sure you're in the root directory of the app and then git in it says, right, initialize this directory and everything below it as a git repo, and it will uh, set up a local repository for you. Uh, as you can see, uh, we've now obviously created that git local repository, and if you type git status, it kind of tells us an information about what changes have happened on our local repository. Uh, so you can see, for example, we're on the master branch, there are no stage changes for commit, modified these two files, and we can use git add or git commit um, all in order to commit these files. We're going to stop here and we're going to jump over to GitHub now to create a remote repository. So obviously here we've just created our local repository, but now we need to go and create a remote repository to push this code to. Now we've jumped over to GitHub here. So the easiest way to create a remote repository is come over here and select uh, your repositories. This will bring up a list of your repositories. You might not have any or you might have some, but all you need to do is just click this new button here. Uh, and this will now allow us to create a new repository. So I'm going to call this, for example, um, my first React app. That's the name of the repository I want to call it. A description I'm going to leave out for now because we're going to add one in later. You can set public. So public means that everybody can see the source code or private means that only you can see the source code. Um, you can initialize it with a readme and a git ignore. But for now, we're just going to create a blank remote repository so that we can push our local code to. So you can just click create repository. And there we go. So I've now created a my first React app repository 
um, in my account. I'll now jump back over to the command line and show you how we can push our local source code to this remote repository. Here we go, so what I've got here is git bash in my react app root directory and over here i've got uh, github which is going to be our remote repository that we're going to push to so obviously local on the left and remote on the right so in order to see the status of files in our git local repository we can type git status and that just gives us you know information about our repository and it says look we've modified it app.js and app.css if we want to now stage these files to commit we can do we can run a command that says git add and you can be specific here, so you can type you can type source and run everything under source, or you can do a shortcut, which is git add dot, which means git add everything. So I'm going to run that. Uh, this is just warning me that my line files are different. Um, ignore that for now. And if I start typing git status again, you can see these have now been staged for commit. So we're on the master branch, and these have now changed from changes not staged for commit, changes to be committed. Okay, and you can see that these have now turned into green. So in order to um, commit these, we can start typing git commit minus m for message. So this will be something like first commit. So that has now committed those changes to our local repository. So they've not gone anywhere. So for example, if I go over here and refresh this page, you know, nothing's gonna change over here because it's not aware of it. It's only commit, it's like, it's basically saved the changes to our local repository. So what we need to do is get our local changes onto our remote changes, okay? So basically at the minute, our local repository has no idea that this remote repository even exists. And Git has this thing, if you type Git remote, it tells you all the information about the remote repositories it's aware about. And I've just typed it there and you can see it's got no information on it. But what we need to do is add a remote repository to our local repository to push to. So you can see here it says push to an existing repository from the command line. So uh, git remote add origin and then the this is actually the URL of our, our remote repository. So it says git add, git remote add, which is saying right, add a remote repository called origin and this is where it's located. So what we can do is just copy this line, paste it into our git bash terminal. And if we press enter and then type git remote, you can see we've now got, um, I think it's if we type, yeah, if we type git remote minus V, uh, you can see that it's now got one remote repository called origin and this is the location of that remote repository. Um, and obviously if I take um, that URL, it's the same URL here. So that's good. So we've now added a remote repository to our local repository that we can push to. And in order to push our local changes to that, all we need to do is type this command here, which is git push upstream. So git push to our remote repository. This is saying, basically the same git push to origin master. So, um, you know, when we did git status, you know, we're on branch master and you can see that here. So we're gonna say git, I want you to git push um, because it's the first time we've pushed to a remote repository, you have to do this minus U. And I want to push to origin. And what I want to push to origin is everything in master, okay? And when I press enter, as you can see, this will go through and it will say writing some objects to the remote repository. And you can see it's pushed to this remote repository and it looks like it's gone successfully. So now if I come over here and refresh this page, I'm imagining that all our code is going to now be over here. And there we go, look, you can see, we've now pushed all our source code and other code in here. And if we type in, go into a source, you know, this is all our JavaScript files that we can see. So that is really good. Yeah, so now what we've done is we've connected our local repository to our remote repository. So now whenever we wanna push changes, we can just do that through the command line and they're saved on the remote repository forever. So one last thing I wanna show you is how you can pull changes from a remote repository. So for example, let's say someone, one of your friends uh, makes changes to your, wants to make changes to your code and pushes code to your remote repository. It's gonna try an example of this by going into the readme um, and adding something like this is my change, committing that change to the master branch. So now you can see that I've got a change here. Um, and if I come back here, I've now also got th three commits. So you can see, look, this is my first commit that I made from the command line and this is me updating the readme. But if I come over here and type git log, this tells me all of the commits that's made in my local repository. And as you can see, I haven't got that update readme commit. So in order to pull changes 
down from a remote repository to your local repository. All you need to do is type git pull. There we go. And it's pulled one change uh, and it's free files were added or free lines were added to the readme file. Um, and if I now start type git log, you can see that I've now got that update readme commit here locally. That's how you can push code to a remote repository and pull changes from a remote repository using Git. There we go. So that was a quick overview of how to integrate Git into your project. I hope you understand the concept between what a local repository and a remote repository is. And I hope you found this tutorial useful. Uh, let me know your Git repos in the comments below. Leave me a message and a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Um, and I will see you in the next one.